Wonder Girls, and I am here today with one of my absolute favorite authors, the wonderful and truly <laughs> astounding Sonia Sounds. Sonia, I want you to tell us about your latest book. Well, my latest book is uh, What My Girlfriend Doesn't Know, and it's the sequel to What My Mother Doesn't Know. It took me a long time to even get the urge to write it because I had, you know, I just had moved on to a whole other story. Mm -hmm. But um, I kept getting emails over and over again from kids saying, oh and, adults, and adults, and mm adults, -hmm. I, I have to know what happens next, what mm -hmm. happens next. And so after a while, I started to want to know what happened mm -hmm. next. And the only way to find out was to write the book. Wonderful. Yes. So what was the answer? I thought, well, what is it that would interest me the most? And what I wanted to find out is what would happen to this really homely guy, mm -hmm. this character Robin, if he'd had a girlfriend for the first time. What, what would that be like? How would his life change? And, mm -hmm. and so that's why I decided to write it in a boy's voice, which is my first book in a boy's voice. But you do it so well, and in fact, I think you have a few poems that you could share with us. And it's a novel in verse. <laughs> it's a novel in verse, so it's a series of poems, which if you read them all in order, they tell a story. Okay. After school. I'm blowing on my fingers to keep them from freezing, waiting for Sophie at the appointed spot by the goalpost at the far end of the football field. I'm trying not to think about anything, especially not about how I'm wrecking Sophie's life. It's ridiculous how much I've missed her. We've only been apart for two hours, but it feels more like two weeks. Whoa, here she comes now, flying toward me like a perfect 50-yard pass, her brown hair billowing out behind her, her eyes reflecting the January sky, her long skirt hugging her legs, those incredible legs of hers that are carrying her closer and closer to me with every step, legs that'll be pressing up against mine just a few seconds from now. I used to think it was only girls who got weak in the knees. Sophie hurdles into my arms and suddenly I feel like I've just scored the winning touchdown. She wraps herself around me, resting her cheek against my chest, and the feel of her against me, the smell of her hair, thaws every atom of my frost-bitten body and makes my heart reach warp speed so fast that I almost keel over. There are so many things I want to say to her, but all of them are way too lame, so I don't say anything. I just kiss her, and the cheering crowd lifts me up onto its shoulders and carries me away. When we finally come up for air, Sophie's eyes are smiling into mine. And it's amazing, really, because all she has to do is look at me, and my lump of a nose straightens out, the muscles on my arms start to sprout, the circles fade under my eyes, my ears shrink down to a normal person's size. If only everyone else could see what Sophie sees when she looks at me. Oh, I just have to hug the book. I love <laughs> this book. I absolutely love this book. And I just have to hug just you. Oh. You see? I love her. Um, now one of the reasons why I love this book, and this is not scary poetry, people. Yeah, it is read. not. <laughs> it's wonderful to read. So, Sonia, can you tell us a little bit about what you're working on next? Well, you know, my husband and I wrote a picture book together. His name's Bennett Tramer. And um, it's the story of a swan and a duck and their friendship. And it's coming out in March from Dial. And I'm very, very excited. About it. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sonia, for joining us. <laughs>